So Folsom or Rancho Cordova. Today we're going to talk about Folsom versus Rancho Cordova. We're going to break down both areas and really show some of the pros and cons and help you on your decision whether you're looking to move into the area right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Sacramento's Real Estate Channel where we talk everything there is to know about the brand new bills and of course, what there is to do here in Sacramento. If you've been thinking about making a move to the area, subscribe to the channel and just so you know, we go live every Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. We'll see you there. All right, well, there you have it. Today, we're gonna break down Folsom versus Rancho Cordova. I know there's been a lot of inquiries, a lot of talk between the two communities especially when it comes to new construction and kind of up and coming development and the future of both of these cities. So we're gonna break down a lot of the new construction, shopping, things to do, schools and whatnot, and really kind of show you the differences between both areas. Now, they definitely have a very distinct different feel, so there is something to be said about that. But as far as giving you guys kind of some insight to both areas, whether you're moving in from out of town or you've been living in Sacramento and never really been to the areas, I hope that this video is beneficial for you. So let's break it down, Folsom versus Rancho Cordova. And really, I wanna talk about Folsom really quickly. A lot of established areas in Folsom, there's a lot of nice um, kind of further out areas around Folsom that are still highly sought after communities and still you know, not far from Folsom Lake in itself. A lot of things kind of hustling, bustling around Folsom. A lot of eyes have been looking at Folsom lately. So we're gonna kind of break down the differences between both of these two, just to kind of show you here. When we talk about Folsom, uh, a lot of the people really asking are considering a lot of the new construction, the new builds, where are the new homes coming in? So here uh, you'll see really the, the map between Folsom, uh, Folsom Ranch here is really kind of the new area, Folsom Ranch, Russell Ranch in Folsom. That's where most of the new development is going on. But then uh, down below, you have that area called Anatolia. So that'd be kind of like the newer part of Rancho Cordova where a lot of the development's going on. Now, that's just a pinpoint there. There's a lot of um, divisions around that area. So it's just to kind of give you an overall map. You'll hear uh, some areas, you know, Montalena, Cavala Ranch, uh, Mather is even not far from there as well, which might be a nice community for you uh, if you're considering. So we're going to talk about the differences and there are quite a few differences. We've had a lot of clients, our personal clients reach out to us, whether they're moving from out of town, out of state, or even in the area, but don't really know these specific areas. We really wanted to break down and bring it up in this video to kind of show you guys some differences here. So the nice thing about Folsom is that you do have some areas, I mean, like this, essentially, this is near historic Folsom, beautiful, uh, area where the river would flow through. Now that it does have dams, it's considered a lake, but really it's still kind of a river feel. You'll see it there. It's got the historic bridge. Beautiful. Um, this is one really nice thing about Folsom is it has historic Folsom. And we actually will link a video down below of a day in historic Folsom. This is really a one of kind area where if you want to just come out on a Saturday, hang out with the family or go biking, there's a ton of biking trails too here along the river. So you can really hang out here, go for an awesome breakfast spot, or even go on a Saturday to the farmer's market. So really cool area to hang out with the family. Now, um, Folsom, as I mentioned before, does have a lot of new construction. So this area is like this and part of historic Folsom, giving it this vibe, kind of give it a change of pace and really let you feel what Folsom is about. Um, and really there is an awesome feel when you're in Folsom. So check that out. I would definitely recommend it. Now, when we're talking about Rancho Cordova, newer parts of Rancho, Rancho still has a lot of older established areas. If you're not familiar, there's still a lot of places near the river. You'll see there on the map. You can kind of see the river running around. You have beautiful areas in Rancho uh, that are established older, such as the gold river area. You might see it there on the map but Gold River is highly sought after, beautiful, well-kept community where it's kind of a quiet pace of life, still close to the river. If you love having river access, uh, especially for our summer events, you know, um, fishing, rafting, all these different things, um, check that out, but that's a beautiful place as well. So both have their own distinct um, kind of feels and wants and desires that people might be looking for. But today I really want to focus on more of the newer areas 
where a lot of people are asking about the newer construction and kind of surrounding those areas. So uh, let's break it down real quick. Pricing. Money is usually the difference between these two areas and how much people want to spend, right? When we're talking about housing. So uh, right here in Folsom. So the median sold price in Folsom as of this month when we're doing this video is 733,000 is the median sold price. And with pricing here in Folsom, I mean, there are homes that are lower in price. Definitely if you go to older areas, you could still get a home uh, maybe in the upper fives right now, 500s. Uh, but a lot of the homes that you'll see here are definitely in the 700s and up. In Folsom, depending on the area you're in, it's very easy to hit the million dollar mark and up as well. There are some beautiful homes out here. There's a lot of track homes, there's a lot of semi-custom, and there's even a lot of custom homes in Folsom. So the variation could be very broad and all over the place. Um, but when we're talking about kind of newer homes, let's say in Folsom, you're thinking of a brand new home, Folsom Ranch, you're starting, yes, usually in the low 700s, you can get in at the 600s at this time right now currently, but I would expect 700s and up as far as pricing goes, okay? Just kind of give you an idea there. Now, average days on the market for Folsom as a whole is 39 days on the market right now. So that's uh, on average how long it takes to get a home under contract. Now let's uh, compare that to Rancho Cordova. So median sold price in Rancho Cordova right now is 695,000, so a little bit lower. Uh, and average days on the market is 41 days, okay? So not too far off there. There's a little bit of a difference. I will say when it comes to the resale market, as far as right now, as we're doing this video, Rancho Cordova definitely has more supply as far as homes for sale on the market. And uh, pricing is definitely lower. Um, I mean, of course, it really depends on what you're looking for in a home, how much you're looking for in a home, right? So if you're looking for more square footage and to pay less, Ranch Cordova might fit the bill. And usually it comes down to budget between the differences of these two areas. But nonetheless, since it comes up so often, we're doing this video just for you guys. So I uh, just want to break down on pricing there as well. Now, uh, one thing to really keep into consideration here is the schools, right? When we're thinking about moving into a new area like this, we want to know what the schools are like. Are we in a good school district? Well, I have good news for you. You guys are in the Rancho, or I should say Folsom Cordova Unified School District. Sorry for that little typo there. So Folsom Cordova Unified School District. The great thing is that both of these, as far as the newer communities, are in this school district. But here's the catch. When you're in Folsom, as you can see there on the upper right, the schools tend to be rated higher. So that's very interesting right there. Just keep that in mind. And then on the left side, you see some of the ratings for the schools uh, more on the Rancho Cordova side. So keep that in mind as well. As schools are highly important to you, that's also uh, you know kind of a difference maker. Uh, one thing as well is that let's say you were moving into the newer part of Rancho Cordova, like Anatolia, as I showed you earlier. As of right now, there's not really a close high school around there. So that's been a huge kind of uh, you know, downside to it because the driving distance can be much longer. Whereas when you're in Folsom, uh, there's a few high schools there and there's a lot more newer schools coming in. There's still newer elementary schools in the Antolia area. Um, but just keep that in mind when you're talking about uh, new construction between the two areas, pros and cons there. So if, if, if schools are a huge deal, you have kids in school, that might be a difference maker for you. So Keep that in mind. Again, school district as of right now is, you know, technically the same, but depending on the area that you live in, it could be different there. So uh, for me, if I was making that decision, I think this would be a huge player uh, besides just pricing and what I could get with my budget. So just keep that in mind. Now, uh, when we're talking about what's local, what's around there is we're talking about shopping, right? Uh, the nice thing about Folsom and Rancho Cordova both have plenty of shopping, in my opinion. Both have plenty of uh, places to eat, family-run restaurants, bigger name restaurants, uh, you know, random shops to go and buy stuff. Both have it. Both have great plazas just to hang out if you want to catch a dinner with family. But I will say one uh, um, standout about Folsom is that it has the Palladio, and that's what I'm showing on this graphic right here. The Palladio is really known for shopping. I mean, people that don't even live next to Folsom will drive up there just to hang out for an evening. 
um, in the summer evenings. They might even have small concerts, um, little fairs and things like that, but a lot of uh, name brand shopping in there as well, plus places to eat and really just a cool area. You know, if you're in the evening or just want to go for a walk with, with someone, grab a coffee, it's a nice place to hang out. Tons of shopping right there. So uh, very cool one right there. Now, another thing about Folsom is you do have a Costco in Folsom, which is huge for a lot of people. I know everyone's crazy about Costco, but uh, that's nice as well. So, and you also have Folsom outlets. I didn't bring the graphic on here, but Folsom outlets is essentially a huge outlet area. So if you wanna do name brand shopping and not pay the name brand price, it's a great place to get discounted items as well for especially stuff like clothes, jewelry, whatnot. Now, when it comes to Rancho Cordova and what it has, there's still, in my opinion, a lot of great restaurants. Um, you got Oz Korean Barbecue. I know that one is just outside the border, but if you're looking for awesome Korean barbecue spot, I highly recommend Oz. There's still a lot of um, smaller places to eat, specifically off Zinfandel Drive, ton of little plazas where you, know, you still have major shopping, uh, the Targets, the Lowe's, the Home Depots, all that stuff uh, to take care of you. So I think you're still good. Um, you also still have a Costco in Rancho Cordova as well off of Sunrise Boulevard. And when we're talking about newer construction homes like that Anatolia area in Folsom, you still have that, I mean, literally probably seven, 10 minute drive max, which is really nice. So uh, just keep that in mind. So I think shopping wise, you're good. But I will say when we're talking about um, bigger areas of, you know, clothes shopping and all of that, I will say, I think Folsom kind of wins on that one because even people from other areas, you know, um, that live in Arden or that live in Fair Oaks or that live in Carmichael will still drive out there to go do shopping like that. So re one really cool thing about Folsom as well. Now I wanted to jump into some of the new build options. I know I kind of mentioned some of the new construction homes and both have a ton of options at that. So let's start with Folsom really quickly. So these are kind of your new home options as of right now on a map. This is basically Folsom Ranch and Russell Ranch. Um, Folsom Ranch is like one of the newest up and coming communities in phase one. They're expecting to build about 11,000 homes. So a lot of new construction here. Okay. All this is essentially new land. One really cool thing is there's going to be a hospital coming in over the next few years. And, um, there's even been some statements that there's going to be, um, commercial offices and things of that sort and plazas and whatnot. So it's going to, there's a future hub being built here for Folsom. Now it's technically, if you're looking on a map, it's technically south of Folsom. Um, and if you have highway 50 running east and west, it's kind of on the south side of that. So, but the, the beautiful thing is it's separated. So they have all this room to do new construction, but it's still close enough to where, I mean, all the major shopping, like the Palladio and the Costco and all that stuff is so close. It's so close. We're talking 10 minute drive or less. Okay. Just depending where you land here. So, uh, some of the new construction right now, if you're thinking, um, I don't think it's on this map right now, but there's actually a Taylor Morrison brand new communities coming out right now. I believe they're doing three segments of communities uh, starting in the upper 600s. We just had a conference call literally yesterday with one of my clients and their rep. So amazing options here. Uh, if you're looking for homes, I think anywhere from 16, 1700 square feet and up again, three different kind of series of homes here. So whatever home size you need, essentially, they're probably going to have it for you. Uh, so I'm really excited about that new community. We also have uh, Lone Star by TriPoint. TriPoint's got a few different communities out there. You also even have uh, Toll Brothers out there. I know this is a big one, but Toll Brothers is actually doing a 55 and up active adult community, luxury style homes, resort style living with the pools, jacuzzi, spa, all that. So if you're 55 and up and wanna be in a community like that, gated, absolutely beautiful. We have some videos on that community as well. Uh, so check those out on the channel. So great new options when it comes to Folsom. Now, back to pricing. Uh, what kind of pricing can you expect? Again, in the probably upper 600s right now to get started on a new construction home in Folsom. Um, well into the $1.5 million mark. You see there, um, Russell Ranch as well. There's a lot of homes with views there. Lennar's building out there, the new home company. Again, you can guys could check out our channel because we've basically reviewed most of these communities if you'd like more info or even the model walkthroughs. So you can get well into the $1.5 million uh, mark if you want more of a luxury home in this community. 
Now let's look at some of the new builds when it comes to Rancho Cordova. So a lot of new construction in Rancho as well. This is basically, again, that newer part of Rancho Cordova, that Anatolia, Montalena area. And there's a few other subdivisions in here. I've just, it's too much to name them all. So we're just going to talk about it as Anatolia for now. I hope you can excuse me for that. So um, one of the builders that I'd really pay attention to here is K Havnanian. You'll see them uh, right there in the middle. They're doing probably four or five different series of brand new homes. They're also going to have an active adult community, but their other communities are so well priced. I mean, we're talking, you can get a 2000 square foot home or close to it in the 500s. Um, so very well priced homes here, uh, stellar communities, in my opinion, a lot of new construction going on here. So you can see here, um, you got some higher end stuff like premier homes. Those are luxury homes starting in the 800s, 900s. If you want something like pushing 4,000 square feet. Um, they also have Woodside Homes, Stellar Builder, in my opinion, and also Richmond American, and those can vary as well. So a lot of builds going on here. You'll see some of the other ones just to give you guys an idea. And if you're ever considering in a specific size, specific area, maybe some specific requirements, feel free to reach out to me and my team down below. We basically have a list of all the new construction going on throughout the Sacramento area. So that's if that's of interest to you or you'd like to know more, feel free to reach out to us down below and we'd be happy to have that conversation. So uh, just to give you guys an idea of what's going on as far as new construction goes here. Now, you will see there's definitely a lot of differences between Folsom and Rancho Cordova. Now, I will say, again, back to the feel. A lot of the times people reach out to us, you know, and ask, hey, what community is the best to live in? And I tell people a lot, well, I can give you three, four, five, ten 10 communities that I would say are the best to live in in Sacramento because there's so much variety here in Sacramento. But really, it comes down to the feel that you're looking for, budget, criteria of the home. You know, do we need a view? Do we need access to the river or trails or different things of that sort? So those things can definitely take place um, in your decision when it comes Folsom versus Rancho Cordova. So I hope this video helped you out, give you a little bit of insight on the differences between Folsom and Ranch Cordova. And if there's any way that me and my team can help you out, feel free to reach out to us down below. I'm also going to be linking down a few videos. We did a pros and cons video of Folsom Ranch, which is the newer development here in Folsom. So make sure to check that out. We're also going to do a living in Anatolia. So where we break down Anatolia more in depth to give you guys an idea of also some pros and cons there about living in the newer parts of Ranch Cordova. Well, I hope this video on Folsom versus Rancho Cordova has been beneficial to you. If there's any way that me and my team can help you out, feel free to reach out to us down below. You can give us a call or a text or even book a quick appointment with us. Also, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe with that bell as you'll get notified every time we come out with fresh content on the channel. But for now, my name is Sam with Globy Real Estate. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.